Hi there, welcome to another edition of Tuesdays with Corey. Today we have Kay. Yes. Again. Again, yes. Well, this may actually be the first show we show with you, so we, we uh, don't know which one's first. I but we have yes. two shows with you, and yes. this one is about images. Images, yes. So and so tell us a little bit about what images are sure. and what customers are asking for. Sure. So images are a read-only copy of, uh, like, example is a golden image you want mm -hmm, to create. Mm -hmm. So you want to stamp out many VMs from, like, a one snapshot or a golden image. So you're going to spin up, like, 100 VMs, and you want to start them all from that one. So exactly. basically it's sort of like... Uh, 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 static infrastructure, exactly. as it were, right? It's like a point-in-time capture of the state of your Got OS it. that you want. Got it. And how you want it to Got be. Got it. Perfect. Right? Perfect. And it, it can be one OS disk and many data disks. And some people use it for to make sure that their infrastructure never changes, right? Exactly. But some people use it just to make sure they have a starting point exactly. with all the security things that they want set up. And so exactly. So okay, great. Exactly. Right? So we've had images in Azure for a long time. Yes. And we, we recently introduced something called managed images. Okay. Right? So whenever I talk to customers, the kind of questions I, I get is I want to share this image across different subscriptions. Of course. Right? Or I want to take this image and I'm going to take it to another region. Sure, of like course. I have my infrastructure in another region. Yeah. yeah. Right? So there, it's always been very hacky to yeah, do. Yeah, you got to like copy, you yeah, got to exactly. snapshot, do yeah. all this kind of weird it's stuff. Some brilliant people have come up with like very clever solutions. Okay. But we think it was harder than it needs Should to be. Should just be built in the platform, exactly. to be honest. Yes. So what we'd introduce I've been saying that for years, Kay. Yes. Oh. Yes. Finally. <laughs> we finally have a solution. Yeah. yeah. Just that kidding. Is, Go. That's a nervous laughter. Yeah. 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 That was awkward. I was like, ah, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> well, there were so many other Azure features that were in front of uh -huh, it, as uh -huh, you know. Uh -huh. as, as you I know. know. As yes. I know. I guess. Oh, so it's my fault. I got it. Okay. Go. Okay. So we introduced Shared Image Gallery, mm -hmm. which allows, kind of answers all these questions and gives customers all these capabilities. Okay. Got it. Right. So for example, I want to, so. Let's quickly take a look at what the existing landscape is. Okay. Right? So we have platform marketplace images. Okay. We have a custom managed image. Okay. Right? And now we're introducing is something called shared image gallery. Okay. And so customers ask us what is the relationship between managed image yes. versus a shared image gallery. Agreed. And so the way to think about this is that shared image gallery is built on top of managed images. Okay. So shared image gallery can do everything managed images can do. So is shared image more. gallery its own object, its own? It is, yes. Ah. So it, it is its own resource. It is sits at the same level as the virtual machines and VMSS and, I see. and disks. Okay. So you can, you have direct REST APIs to interact with these objects. Oh, and then are there custom managed images are inside this gallery? Yes. So but they're like associated with it, is that right? So it's, they're separate. So you create shared images. I should know this before we have this session, maybe, <laughs> so I'm not asking dumb questions, but that's all right. <laughs> Everyone knows I'm dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, please. So, so managed images are separate objects, and these are like separate deep copies of managed images. I see. Right? Okay, got it, got it, so, got it. <laughs> So the, the, the advantage is you can stop working with managed images or you can delete them to save costs and only work with shared image gallery oh, objects. Oh, right? okay, okay, okay. So going back to this, like you can you do an, everything with a managed image or with a shared image gallery that you can do with a managed image. Okay. Right? And the way to think about this is, so we have three new resources. We okay. have something called a shared image gallery. Sure. We have something called a container. Exactly. And then we have another container inside it called the image definition. Okay. And we have another containers inside it called the image version. It's just like nesting dolls. Nesting, yes. Yeah, yeah, so like kind this. of the, the Russian dolls. Mm -hmm, yes. Exactly. So kind yeah. of the inception going on. Yeah, there, yeah correct. Right? Okay. And to show this in like a picture form, so what you have is like the shared image gallery here, outside container. You have multiple image definitions inside it, right? And then you can have multiple versions inside it. Okay. And we follow semantic versioning. Okay. The name of the version. Yeah. So you can define whatever makes sense for you. Yeah, of course. And you can define 1.0 or 10.0 even first. Sure, it, sure, it sure. It is completely up to you. There is no order. It is whatever order makes sense for Great. for you. Okay, right? got it. So the versioning is completely up to you. Got exactly. It. Got it. Yep. And so how do you get to a shared image gallery? So. Looking at the history of Azure, everybody had an unmanaged image, which which was just one OS disk, yeah. right? Uh -huh. Plus a bunch of data disks, yep. like VHDs that yeah. have their each own like URIs. Yes, that's right. Right. Yep. So you have to convert that into a managed image first, yes. right? And then you can create a shared image version uh, out of it, and and then you can create a VMSS or a VM. Then you can build from, from build it. actually instantiation. Exactly. Of this. Yes. Okay. Yep. Got it. Exactly. Okay. Got it. Right. So. The next piece I'm going to talk about is 
so the first one you create the image definition and the version are one and the same, but then you can add additional versions on versions that as you update things exactly. and so on. And so, so people like patch it and so exactly. on. Exactly. So each it. version is its own independent deep copy. I got you. And you can, you, we have the concept of latest. So you can say, I want the latest for this image definition. Sure, great. Perfect. And it'll let you deploy it. And it does it. Awesome. Just like with our uh, marketplace images, you can say, Pub offer SKU and latest, yeah, yeah. and if, you'll always get the latest. That's awesome. So we're bringing that concept to this as to well. To this, okay, cool. Yep. And so the other ask was sharing of images, right? So because these are ARM objects, you can apply RBAC access to these. Yes. So you can give somebody an RBAC access to your shared version. Oh, cool. Or, or the entire Outside gallery. of your subscription even. Exactly. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. And then that user can deploy to any subscription they have, they have access to. Oh, cool. So you don't need to. Uh, like copy an image into no multiple subscriptions. No one has to copy things or anything. Yeah, right, exactly. Right. And they, like you don't have to pay more. Now, how does for this it. work from a regional perspective? So is this tied to a given region? Yes. So the, so, but I will come to the regional. I so jumped that ahead. Is, that I is jumped the, ahead. Yes. Yeah. That is the other problem we wanted to solve. Uh huh. This, I know right? it's a big one. Yep. So once you solve this, you can share and you can deploy in different region, uh, yeah. in different subscriptions within the same region. Within got the same it. region. Okay. Great. Right. But now what you can also do is so. Oh look, I see you got pictures yep, of the world here. Yeah, I got here. maps. <gasps> like maps nothing explains maps. like. Yep. Okay. Maps are awesome, right? Maps are yeah. awesome. So, traditionally, what you would ha have is like you would have an image in like West US, yep. and then like another image in West, in West right. Europe, and you have to like keep them in sync and, and stuff. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Another in Australia, right? Now what you can do is make that image a part of a shared image gallery. Yes. So go from managed image, shared image gallery. Perfect. And then you can replicate that to multiple regions. Right. And you can. So it's as easy as specifying the name of the region. That's how easy it That's is. That's awesome. And we handle the replication on the back end for you. I see. So, so you just everything gets taken care of for you. Exactly. Perfect. Yep. Going back to making it simple for the yeah, customer. Yeah, yeah. Right? That's the goal. So now the other thing what we introduced is we've introduced that you can do versions replication per so regional replication per version. Per version. You can decide one version maybe only in one location versus like version exactly. two here everywhere. Yeah. yeah. And the benefit of that is like you can save cost. Right. Like you can have the latest version in like many regions yeah. and all the older versions and only in one region. Wow. Right? So another way to save money. Yeah. yeah. So Right. So you can basically make sure yeah your 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 old ones that you may have to revert back to you don't need to keep everywhere. Exactly. Yeah. 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 And, and and the the great part is that awesome so the awesome part is that you can update it anytime. Right. So you can come back and update the region list or you can remove the regions from the list. Right. So it's completely and just keep updatable. completely cleans it yep. up for you automatically. Yeah, exactly. That's awesome. So you, it's completely dynamic. You can make changes anytime you yeah, want. Yeah, that's really cool. All right. So that's awesome. And so today, this is in preview. This is in public it, preview. Today, anyone can go do this, but it's only available uh, in command line and PowerShell, in right? Command so line it's and not it's not available today yet in the portal. And not in the portal, but, but it's coming soon. But it, I just had a chat with the portal team, and the experience is looking awesome. It looks really good. At least in the nice little map you click on the button. Yeah, yeah, in the in the mockups. In the mockups. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. mockups so. look looking good. great. Yeah. Good. So the other thing we're introducing is something called scale. So. Traditionally, with the managed images, yes. when, when you try to create like thousands of VMs, it's slow. It's slow, and the reason it is slow is because of the One storage storage account. storage account throttling. Yep. So underneath the managed image, there is still like a storage hardware. Of course, and you can only read so much. Yeah. Like if thousand VMs start reading from That's it, right. it's going to run into storage it's account gonna, throttling. The disk so, is spinning too much, or the SSDs are chemically firing too much. Yes. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> Go on. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so. What we're allowing you to do is specify the number of replicas you want for okay. the image. Okay. Right? So one, it offers high availability because it'll put it on different storage accounts and different hardware. Sure. And if look, storage hardware goes down, you, you still can access your it. image is still yep. available. Yep. Right. And the second thing it offers is it allows you to spread these VM calls to all these replicas. Uh, not, not, uh, and do you have to pay for that though? You have to pay you for You have the, to pay oh, for it. I see. It. So yeah. you, if you say five, you pay for five storage exactly. accounts of that size yep. then. And it is updatable. Okay. And so we uh, so just like one great story I li uh, like to share it's as very cool, part actually. of the customer feedback. Yeah. So originally in the original design, we had the same replica count for all the target regions. So in pr in our preview, one of the customers came back and said, I really don't like that because I don't need it. Right. So we went back. Only one region needs this many. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So the team went back and uh, kind of made some changes for the public preview. And now you can do replica count per region. Oh, very cool. Yeah. So you can say, I want this region and so I want this. So all very, very configurable. Exactly. That's so, really cool. Yeah. So it's really customer centric. And you can say global replica count if you don't want to configure per region. If you'd rather not do it. And you can override per region as well. Oh, very cool. So it, it is completely up to the customer. All kinds of power here. Exactly. Let's see some actual, let's see some actual, how would you do this? All right. So what I have is uh, commands in the, um, let me just zoom in here a little bit. 
Okay, so the first step you would do is create a research group. Create a research group. Always. Of course. Always. Always. Yes. <laughs> Fortunately, that is very fast. That's yeah, it's very fast. <laughs> been done. Yes. Yes. So the ne you, so in the CLI, what we have is the AZ SIG. So SIG stands for Shared, shared image, image Gallery. Shared yep. Very clever. We realized typing that would be really cumbersome, yeah, so we came up with right. SIG. Right. Okay. AZ SIG create, pass in the group name, pass in the gallery name. So I created one specially Fine, for you. Perfect. Right? I appreciate Corey that. Gallery. I appreciate right? that. So the next thing what you would do is you would create the image definition. Okay, look at that. And so many options here. So many options, right? Okay. And I'm going to talk about these like conf customer configurability. Right. So, I'm, uh, so just going back, I'm talking about the publisher persona here, and then we'll talk about the consumer sure, persona. Sure, sure. So what we have is the image definition create, pass in the group name, gallery name, Perfect. and the image definition name. So I pass in Tuesday. Tuesday. As an example, if you were publishing images for your Tuesday show, or if you had decided to do a, like a Wednesday show or a Thursday show, right? So blasphemy. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so you could have an image definition for each of your Got it. Of those. Right? Okay. And then publisher offer SKU. So if you if you're working with our marketplace images, you know every m image has a publisher offer SKU. Yep. Now what we're allowing you to do here is define your own. Define your own. That's right? awesome. So. It, it allows you to keep track of these in a much simpler way. Exactly. Yeah, 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 so totally, totally, totally. so r when, when I show you deploying a VM with it, right now it's going to be with a resource ID, yeah. ARM resource ID, but yeah. in the future we'll allow you to do publisher offer SKU and latest, and which is defined by you. Yep. So, so it'll be publisher offer SKU and then version. Exactly. Got uh, it. So, so the image definition is defined by those three, and then version is a layer on top. Exactly. That you can have multiple versions within those three. Exactly. Yep. I got it. So, <laughs> so you get it. So publisher okay, offers you OS type, uh, and then OS type, and then description images for Tuesdays, right? And this you can do this disallow this type. So, so making sure that it's it, either the best or the worst of both. Exactly. Right, yeah. So as a publisher, if you think this OS or this image does not need to run on premium storage, don't allow it. Don't allow you it. You can put that in exactly. And you can also define end of life date. So as a consumer, I can look at the image and I can know if these images are out of end of life. Oh, cool. So I don't I don't deploy those. Oh, cool. By accident, right? EULA. EULA privacy statement. So this is like if other if you shared it with someone else, you maybe you can put that in, and then they'll see those before they. They'll deploy see it. those if they, when they do a get on these images, they'll see all these end of life dates and. And end of life date, the EULA and, and the privacy yep. statement. And, uh, like and release notes. As yep. Well. And release notes, like really important, yeah. right? Yeah, of like course. You want to know what's changed in the yeah. latest version. Those aren't required, though, I presume. Uh, right? No, these yeah. are not required. Okay, but, but you can put them. Exactly. Just Very cool. Just niceties for the publisher yeah, to and then kind minimum, of maximum. Yep. Round out the publishing experience. Right, and then what we've added is something called minimum CPU core, maximum CPU core. So as a publisher, right. you can tell your consumers here's the size you have to exactly, use. Yeah. like kind of aim for this size, That's very this cool. ballpark. Like same with That's memory, and maximum memory. Yeah. Right. So you're done with creating the gallery. You're done with creating the image definition. Yes. Now you need to create the version. Yes. And that's the resource you're going to deploy a VM or VMSS Correct. from. Right. So. Here we now you have to point to an image that you've already created, presumably, Ex and yep. that's your version. So yep. So you pass in the gallery name you created, the image definition name you created. Tuesday. And version. Tuesday. Fine. Yes. Great name, right? Yes. Yeah, great. Name. <laughs> right. So gallery image version 1.0.0. Tire regions. Yep, yep. And I could also have done 10.0.0. It's up to me. Whatever you want. And multiple regions if you want. Mul right? Multiple regions. I will just come to that. So. In this example, I'm just publishing to one region and one replica. one replica account, and I'm passing in the resource ID of the managed image I want to create this from. Perfect. Right? Simple. So next, what I want to do is, uh, as a consumer, actually, why don't we skip this? Get. Okay. So next, what I want to do is, I want to publish a new version, but I want to publish that to multiple regions, right? So I'm going to pass in the same image definition name, version 2.0.0 this sure. time around. And then if you notice in the target regions, I have a central US, south central US, and I have this little thing called equals one. Ah, replica count. Exactly. Within that given location. Exactly. So the over global replica count is five. Exactly. South central and east are one. Exactly. So it's completely I got configurable. It. I got it. And, and you, you can come back and run this command again. Got and it. Update this list okay. and it will update it for you. So what you can also do is, while these images are replicating in different regions, you can also get the replication status of these. Like, who doesn't want to see progress? Yeah, bars? so you can see how far they're until exactly. they're done. Got it. So you can yep. get that. Good. And, and the good point is, like, you can st you can see if it is completely replicated into a region, and you can start using it there. Yep. And so what you can also do is switch to a different subscription, and you can just pass in the resource ID of that version. Ah, and now you're creating an actual and VM. And now you're creating the VM. Cool. Permit. So that's how easy it is. So. This is the same way you would use an to image from a gallery managed, as well. Anything, yep, right? Or yeah. like if you're using managed images today managed to images create well. in CLI, nothing changes. You just pass in a different easy. resource ID. Cool. And that's how easy it is. That easy. Yep.
Very cool. Well, gosh, this is great. So this is in public preview. Anyone can go use this. Anyone can go use it. They have and to sign up for the feature. Oh, they do have to sign up for they it. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Yeah. So do we have? We we want to put a link maybe here. We will just or we'll somewhere somewhere here. Yes. <laughs> it's going to be below the video. Yeah, I think. it's not, it's not going to be empty here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, it's just going to be me doing this. <laughs> Unless Rick messes it up. Yeah, well, <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, okay. Thank you so much yes. for doing this. This is great. Um, uh, great show. Uh, great, great coverage. A great feature, right? I think that people yep. will really yeah. enjoy this. It's yep. super powerful. We saw great like. Uh, like feedback and great interest on in the, ignited. In the private so yeah, preview. let's yep. go. Let's yep. get let's get people out there using it. Give us feedback. Let us know what you think, both about the show, about K, about me, uh, about the feature. Uh, hashtag Azure TWC. So that's Tuesdays with Corey, and uh, we'll see you around next time. So K, thank you so much. Yep. Have a one. You have a wonderful Tuesday. I will. And you have a. Wonderful <laughs> it's going to be really Tuesday. weird having a wonderful Tuesday on a Wednesday, but okay. okay well. <laughs> Hey, no one needs to know those details. You have <laughs> no, a wonderful Tuesday. It's, as well. it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> and see you later. And you're rolling there. <laughs> fake out. <laughs> fake, fake out clap. Fake out clap. Nice. <laughs> nice. Ready, ready, ready. Yeah. Okay. All right. No, you can't have it. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Multiple claps. It's so that's hard. Not, that's ready, not, really fast right after each other. Ready? <laughs> that's not what the new show is. No, it's not. It's not. It's super, right. super annoying. Sorry. Okay. All right. This is in front of a live studio audience. This right? is not. Yeah, everyone's laughing in the audience. All right. <laughs> Laugh track. Yeah. All right. You ready? Yeah, good. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, All right, let's go. Here we go.